Oh, right, YouTubers. Welcome back to World of Warships with the Angry Nerd. Today, I thought we would take a look at the Tier 3 Russian battleship, the Konets Suvorov, or Prince Suvorov. Now, this ship is still a work in progress. All stats and statistics may change before it hits the live server, so please keep that in mind. So, I have no camouflage on the ship and no commander. I have no flags or signals mounted. I do have the community contributor flag, but I don't have any signals mounted. So we're pretty close to basic stats here. Why don't we take a look at the basic stats of this ship? We'll start with concealment here. Uh, detectability by sea, 11.7 kilometers, and by air, 7.5. Maneuverability. Speed 22 knots, turning circle radius 650 meters, rudder shift time 9.7 seconds. AA defense is a measurable 11, we're not even going to go over that. Artillery, it gets 5 times 2, 305 millimeters as the main armament. Maximum AP, sh AP shell damage is 8,600 and maximum HE shell damage is 4,500. Its firing range is 12.6 kilometers. Survivability. It has hit points of 37,900. Probably should go over the secondary armament. 14 times 1, 130 millimeters is the secondary armament. So, you have two super firing turrets here in the front. And you have two offset turrets. Uh, one on the port and one on the starboard. I guess this would be the port and this would be the starboard. And then one in the back. So it's really hard to get all five turrets firing at one target. Let's take a look at the armor. It's pretty well armored. Uh, four end armor belt. The upper four end armor is 102 and the lower is 127. So should be pretty good at tanking from the front. Um, the side armor is 203 on the lower and 102 on the upper, 102 and 127 here at the aft. So uh, armor looks pretty good, but when you take all of this away and just show the Citadel, you can see uh, it sits very high in the water. So if you do expose your broadside uh, to an enemy, you will get punished. So, yeah. Let's cut this off. Um, I do have the ship fully modified, though. Let's take a look at the ammunition and consumables. Pretty standard for Tier 3 uh, Repair Party and Damage Control Party. For the upgrades, I selected Main Armament Modification Number 1 and Damage Control System Number 1. Um, exterior. Let's slap on the community contributor camouflage. Throw on some signals. We're not going to go over there. We are going to give the speed boost here. Um, I wish you could select all of these and then hit um, mount, but nope, you have to do them one at a time, it looks like. So that's eight for eight. Let's enable that and let's assign a commander. We don't want a commander who is too skilled because it's only a tier three. We'll take this nine point commander right here. That seems pretty reasonable. Um, so for his uh, tier one skills, he has priority target expert loader for the tier 2 skill expert marksman adrenaline rush tier 3 skill basics of survivability so I think this is pretty good to put here on this tier 3 battleship so why don't we hop into a game see what I was able to do with the Kanet Suvorov or the Prince Suvorov work in progress here we go. 
Alrighty, looks like we picked up Big Race. And we're top tier. There's a South Carolina, uh, the British Tier 3, and a Nassau, German. So, one, two, three, four, and five destroyers. Alright, we'll have to keep our eye out for those. How do you even pronounce that British one? Bellathon or I have no idea. But yeah. There's no tier four battleships, so we don't have to worry about that. We're almost got the AP loaded up. Hopefully we can put that to good use. Get some cruisers. So, instead of running up this right hand side, straight north, um, I'm going to head over toward the cap. Um, figure they're going to have to come toward the cap eventually at some point. If we get them on their heels and we have to push forward to finish them off can do that but initially this is their objective so I'm gonna come over here and try to defend the cap a little bit all right first sight there's a Valkyrie wonder if we can get a lucky shot in on it it's AP but we'll do it anyway Hey, looks like we got a hit. One overpin for 860. There's a Weymouth steaming straight toward me. Let's get our guns turned over toward him. Look at that, I got all five guns. All five turrets. Let's see. He's going to turn. Yes, he is. Oh, this looks pretty good. 2,500. Okay, that could have been a lot better. must have not aimed properly. Let's try this again. Oh, he's turning bow on. Oh, no, he's turning back. Yes, please. I'll have some more. Those look good. There we go. Two penetrations and an over penetration. But we'll take that. That's the first enemy kill there. Looks like the main push is coming down through this side over here. So we're going to float over to this side. It's a Samson. I I think he may have grounded out and he's in the smoke. Can't really see him. There he is. There he is, right there. Oh man hoping to do way more than that but he's got some torpedoes coming this way I don't remember what the range of them are but I should be able to finish this oh, they finished it 
and I'm all clear of the torps. All right, we're looking pretty even. Four ships to four ships down. NASA out. I wonder if I can get a shot on him. Let's see. Oh, I thought he was going to move forward some more. I did hit him for 2,800. It's better than nothing. We got a Charleston right here showing a whole lot of. Oh! He just got spanked. He's not going to survive this. Sorry, guy. I'm not trying to let anybody live. So it looked like we stopped the push coming from the left side of the map. So we're going to turn around and head back toward the cap. Man, the Nassau, our Nassau is way up there. He's in a bad spot. He's up there with two enemy battleships. Let's see if we can get some hits on this Samson. Where is it? There it is. Let's see. Anything? And a thousand eighty eight. Oh, there's the Valkyrie. I'm just going to start zigzagging. He's got torps coming. Now he's undetected, but he's got me spotted. Let's pull her back to the right. There's the Valkyrie. He's dropping smoke. I hit him for 1400. He's firing at me because the South Carolina's got me spotted. I hit him. And missed him. I don't think I'm going to be able to hit him in there, but I can hit that South Carolina. Let's dodge just in case there's some torps coming. Oh, wait, there he is. Select my secondaries on him. He's not in secondary range yet. Come on, reload. Really need to kill this guy. I want to turn, but there's torps. Okay, here we go. Dang it! I thought for sure I had him. Keep turning, keep dodging torps. I 
two fires are burning. The biscuits is burning. Three fires are burning. Let's take this. There we go. I'm gonna regain some health. The fires are out, and there's the torpedoes. Heading back over toward this South Carolina. All right, we've got repair party back up or damage control party back up uh, repair will be up in 43 seconds looks like the South Carolina got taken out and I'm the last ship huh There's two cruisers and a destroyer. Let me stay over here close to my cap. I'm detected. Somebody shot at me from that direction and their shells hit the island. There they come. I'm being aimed at by... Oh! There's the destroyer. He's very low health. And he's dead. Alright, we're going to regain some health. There's his torpedoes. All right, we got two cruisers. They've got the points lead. A little more than a hundred. Um, I don't know that they have to come down here to the cap. If I kill one, um, I think we may take the lead. come close they may hide I think I may need to go press the cap their cap and make them come to me but I also need to keep in mind that they could get in my cap circle before I get in theirs but if they do I will know where they are and I can come back this way so yeah I think we're gonna head up toward their cab force the issue I got five and a half minutes Mike can get there And a mic can cap it out, or at least make them have to come to me. I 
I'm detected. Oh! So Dresden, right there. All right, 6,000 damage on the Dresden. Oh! Okay. I know where the other one is. Uh, I don't know where there I should chase the Dresden. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna head toward the cap. If he gets to my cap first, that'll be bad. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Oh, he's turned around. He's turned around. Okay. Start heading back to port. I'm gonna continue pushing the cap. Oh, and the St. Louis. Oh, this is so good. Okay, that got us close, but we don't have the lead. I'm pretty sure I can get in the cap before he can get in my cap. So, he may have to come defend this cap. him to the cap he's gonna have to come this way there he is he's working on resetting the cap thousand on the salvo like that and we should have it oh yeah if I just touch him with one shell here we go should be it. Gotcha. All right. That worked out pretty well. Let's take a look. 150,000 credits, 4,000 XP with 460 free XP, 44,000 damage, 34 target hits, one incapacitation, six ships destroyed, one fire, a citadel, defended the base twice, and spotted three ships. Team score, first place on the team. Detailed report. You know, I didn't do a lot of damage to anybody. I just spread the love around a little bit. Everybody got a little piece of the action. So, yeah, not bad. So, yeah, the Kenyats Suvorov or Prince Suvorov. Um, this is actually a pretty good ship. I'm quite enjoying it. It may be my favorite 
tier three battleship. So, eh, you know, tier three battleships aren't that great, but this one is not that bad. I actually feel competitive against the tier fours. So, I think if you can feel competitive in a tier three against the tier four ships, um, it's pretty good. I don't dread it when I see uh, tier fours show up in the lineup. I'm like, hey, I can hold my own. So, yeah, um, I like it. If you've liked this look at the Kenyad's Suvorov, hit that like button. If you didn't, don't. Subscribe if you would. But as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Nerd out.